Hi everybody, this is Summer, lactation consultant with Done Naturally, and I'm so excited because this one is long overdue. We are going to talk about COVID in pregnancy and during lactation. Woo! Okay, so I'm excited because the amount of information that we have collected since the beginning of this is so exciting for our lactation community. And we have seen so many positive things happen. Many of us in the lactation professional world expected this, but to have the evidence behind it is just awesome. So, okay, before I get into all of that, I really want to share with you some of the things that I've noticed because of the pandemic that have really made a spin, like a positive spin on the postpartum period. Um, and a lot of times we hear all the negative and the, what it's done and the, to change our lives. And so I really, I, I, I need to impress this upon you, what I've seen. Um, I have seen the parents in the early postpartum period are taking time, slowing down, not having visitors, focusing on just the two parents and the baby. That is a gift from the pandemic. Those of us that have been in the lactation world and helping parents know that it is so intrusive when we have tons of guests over and we feel like we need to host. Um, we miss out on sleep. We're missing out on time spent with the baby. Um, we're doing photography sessions. Um, it, it's the amount of activity that used to happen in the early postpartum period was absolutely interfering with that bonding, connection, learning process that is so important in that newborn phase. So because of the pandemic and because of um, everybody staying away, it has really given a gift to those parents and those babies. So um, that is outstanding. And I hope that people can see that because to keep that in, um, will be very important. Families do so much better when they just keep it simple in the early postpartum days. Um, things go easier. There's less pain. There's higher milk supply. There's more connecting with the baby. There's more mindfulness, time, rest. I mean, it's just, that is just really, really cool. Okay, the other things that I have seen um, that just make me so happy um, I have seen parents who otherwise would not have breastfed, human milk fed, pumped, do so because they know how important it is full, being full of immunity and boosters and antibodies. <clears throat> so that is pretty incredible. And those same people who did it because of uh, the, you know, the, the science, the immunity behind it, not because they were excited to love it, um, accidentally enjoyed it. So that is really cool too. Um, I have seen parents that are breastfeeding, human milk feeding, pumping for longer than they planned on in order to provide longer and more protection to the baby. Awesome. I have seen families who are extended breastfeeding, breastfeeding beyond that one year, two year mark, purely because of the extension of protection with immunity with regard to the pandemic. They otherwise might have weaned, but coming into another season where we're seeing numbers come up, the last thing they wanna do is wean which is just really outstanding for the lactation world. Um, for, for my perspective, it's seeing, um, it's seeing all these families with enlightenment. Um, it, it's seeing how vitally important it is to our baby's vulnerable immune system. These babies cannot be vaccinated. These babies cannot, they are reliant upon us. 
And as people start to understand how the immune system works and how human milk works and all of that passive immunity that happens with the mother and the baby, um, they, it clicks for them. And so they make a very common sense decision, which is helping our world and our new generation. So I am just tickled pink because I, oh, I'm accidentally wearing pink. That's really funny. Um, I, I just, I'm thrilled. Um, so in, in the last, I guess this has been now more than a year and a half or maybe right at a year and a half, um, we have learned that it is recommended for women who are pregnant to receive the COVID vaccination. We have learned that it is recommended for women who are lactating, breastfeeding, pumping to receive the vaccination. We have learned that the immunity, that the antibodies that the mother's body creates from either the COVID illness itself or from the COVID vaccine, those antibodies that her body begins to make pass to the baby via her milk, protecting the baby who otherwise could not be protected. That is cool, you guys. Um, I and all the major health organizations out there have made these statements and the evidence is readily available. It is there. We can protect our babies two times. One, just by simply giving them our milk. Two, by vaccinating ourselves and passing more immunities to them. That's the coolest thing. And they've seen that it takes about seven to 14 days post-vaccination for the antibodies to be alive and ready to give to the baby. That, I mean, I just, I just, I am, I am so excited. Um, the science is so damn cool. Our bodies are just spectacular. I will quote my sister when I gave birth to my second and she was looking at my placenta and she said, oh my God, our bodies are fucking amazing. Yes, that's what I'm gonna say right now. I am floored and so excited for all of this. Is it unfortunate? what we're going through and what we're having to learn and lives that have been lost. And absolutely, I don't mean to um, be just miss happy, super giggly over here, but we need to hear this stuff too. It is very exciting. We have the evidence, we're a year and a half into this and our babies are faring so well because parents are making these decisions based on the science of human milk. That, I think that I end there. That is just the coolest thing. So um, cheers to all of you during this time. Um, thank you for listening. And if you like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe so you can hear all my other stuff. And I'll see you later, guys. Bye.